Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. This tutorial is inspired by my new upcoming short film. I have downloaded these video clips from Video Block, and here is what I have created with my Video Blocks membership. By the way, you can download these video clips from the link in the description. So today, we are going to create this. This video is sponsored by Videoblocks.com. Videoblocks is a subscription-based resource providing unlimited downloads of royalty-free stock footage, motion backgrounds, after effects, and more. Click the link in the description box below, to get a free 7-day trial of Videoblocks, and save 40% on over 3 million video clips. This month Video Blocks is inspiring creators to use the Creator 2 Creator, to create something innovative. You can use Video Blocks for so many different projects, so, start creating using the hashtag, Creator 2 Creator. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Text Mask. I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 24 frames per second to achieve a film look. You can use any setting you want. Now, import your video footage. I am going to use these videos, which I have downloaded from the videoblocks.com. Add your video to the project, and drag it on the timeline. The first step is to add film bars to it, so that it will look like a film. Create a new solid. I am calling it Film Bar, and using the pure black color for it. Now the important step. Make sure to select your Film Bar layer, and then go to the Shape or Masking tool. Make sure to select Rectangle tool, and then double click on it. The rectangular mask will be applied on the whole Film Bar layer. You can turn on and off your mask visibility by clicking on this icon. Right now, I need our mask to be visible. So let's turn it on. Perfect. Now, change mask to subtract. And then double click on any anchor point. We can now transform this mask path. Hold down Ctrl plus Shift, and start dragging the mask from bottom to top. It will perfectly create film bars onto your video clip. This looks good to me. You can hide your mask because we don't need to show it now. Let's add our text. You can add your logo as well. The process is same for logo and text. By the way, you can download this font from the link in the description. I am making my brand name bigger, than my introduction text. You can copy my text setting if you want. Change the kerning to zero and increase the size to make it much bigger than the bottom text. Let's make it in two lines, and increase the space between both words. Press Ctrl plus Enter to eject from the typing tool. Make sure to align your text to the center for the sake of a good design. Now, put your text on above the video layer, so that we can mask out our video by using this track mat. If you don't find it here, press F4 to switch between. Change video track mat to alpha mat. And your video will be masked out inside this text. Perfect. This looks good to me. Let's add some text animation to it, go to the effects and presets, 
and search for 3D fallback scramble and blur. Add this onto your text layer. And then press U to open keyframes. Now, select all your keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Open graph editor and select the end keyframes. Drag your handle to something like this. Switch back to your timeline and now you have nice looking text animation. Let's add a zoom out effect to it as well. Press S to open scale. And add a keyframe on it. Before animating the scale position, let's put the text layer anchor point into the center, so that it will animate symmetrically. Go to around 3 seconds, and then press Y to select anchor point. Press and hold control key and drag it to the center. Perfect. Now go to the end frame, and change scale value to 75%. Cool. Our first animation is complete. RAM preview it, and you will get the similar effect. If you are happy with the final result, let's switch to our next slide. For the second slide, we are going to learn how to make this. You can see our text is coming from behind the mountains. Now we are making text behind the object. Create a new composition, and let's call it Text Sunset. I am using the same setting as the previous slide. Add this sunset video in the project and place it onto the timeline. I am going to add same film bars on it, instead of creating it again. Let's copy from the previous slide. Select your layer and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Switch back to the text sunset comp, and press Ctrl plus V to paste it. And we have the same film bars applied on it. Select your video layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. Now grab the pen tool, and start drawing a mask on the mountain. Zoom in as much as possible, so that you can work in detail. This is an easy process. Just simply draw a mask over these mountains. To finish the mask, make sure to leave a large space to hide your text. And then connect with the first anchor point. Your video is now masked around. Now, create a new text. I am using the same fonts which I have used in the previous slide. As I told you before, you can download this font from the link in the description. You can choose any font you want. I am using a thin and a bold font for these intros. Align your text to the center. Place it below the mountain masked layer. And your text will be behind these mountains. Now, change the mode to screen to blend your text into the scene. Perfect. Now let's create a text rise effect to the scene. Select your video layers and then press P to open position. Click on the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe on it. And then change the Y position. Make first keyframe position to the top. But make sure your video should be inside these film bars. Then go to the end frame, and change Y position to down. Now your text will start appearing behind the mountains. I am scaling my text to 70% so that it won't look too big. Now, this is what our animation looks like. Let's animate the position of this text as well. Press P to open position, and add a keyframe on it. Go to the end keyframe, and make text to go down a little bit. It will give a nice parallax effect to it. 
cool. Now select all keyframes of every layer, and press F9 to easy ease them. Open Graph Editor and change the curve position to something like this. Switch back to our timeline, and our second slide is complete. RAM preview this, and you have a nice looking animation. This is our third and last slide. I have, added our text behind the tree. So, let's see how can we make this. Create another composition, let's call it tree text. I am using the same setting as previous one. Import this tree video in the project, and place it on the timeline. Go to the previous comp, and copy the film bar layer. Switch back to the tree text comp, and paste it above the video layer. Select your video layer, and first align it to the center, so that we can see the tree in the middle of our frame. Again select your video layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. Let's turn off the visibility of below video layer. Now go to the effects and presets, and search for Luma Key. Add this effect onto the top video layer. Let's change few setting to make our background transparent. Change the key type to key out brighter. Now, if you increase the threshold, you can see our sky has been removed, now we have only tree and mountain. I am using a threshold of 145. And increasing edge feather to 1. Let's change threshold to 130. Here we go. Turn on the bottom layer, and you can see your video is looking same. But here is the magic part. Add your text here, I am copying the text from the previous composition. And putting it between these video layers. Let's remove it position keyframe first, we don't need any animation on it. You can place your text any way you want. But for this tutorial, let's keep it here. Change blending mode to normal. And make your text white. You can keep any color you want, but I prefer white, because it looks more elegant. This is our effect. Let's put text to something like here so that the tree won't cover it up. Also, I am changing the text a bit. Play your video, and see if you like it. Let's place my text here, so it will be visible behind the tree. Perfect. This looks cool to me. Let's do some quick color correction to it. Go to the effects and presets, and search for hue and saturation. Double click on it to apply it on the video layer. Change the master light to negative 15, and saturation to negative 10. Now, copy this hue saturation effect, and paste it onto top video as well. Here we go. You have now your text behind the tree. RAM preview it and you are good to go. Thanks for watching this tutorial, I'll see you on next week. Have a nice day.